What is a foreign key in a database? Today, you'll learn what a foreign key is, why you need one, and how to add them into your database tables. Foreign keys have made my life easier when working on databases and the applications that are built on top of them. Knowing how to create them and what they are is a good skill. By the end of this video, you'll know what a foreign key is and how to create one on a table in your database. So what is a foreign key? A foreign key is a column or set of columns that refer to a primary key in another table. They are used to specify that a record in one table refers to a record in another table. They let you relate data in two tables and are a foundation of a well-designed database. So why do you need a foreign key in a database? First, they ensure data integrity. What does that mean? It means that the data in your tables is good quality. It means you don't have records on one table referring to non-existent records in another table. This makes it easier for any application that uses the database to know how the data is related. It also helps to prevent orphan records. What is an orphan record? A foreign key relationship is often thought of as a parent-child relationship. The child has a reference to the parent. Without a foreign key, you can delete the related parent record and you're left with a child record with a non-existent parent. With a foreign key, you can add a constraint, which is a rule that prevents you from deleting the parent record, which improves the quality of your data. So how do we do it? How do we add a foreign key to our database table? Let's start with an example. Let's use an example of a customer table and an account table. This could be at a bank. Our customer table looks like this on the left, ID, first name and last name, with the primary key column. The account table looks like this on the right, ID, start date and status, with a primary key of ID. The customer and account tables both exist in our database. They each have a unique identifier, which is the ID column, and they are primary keys. How do we relate the two tables together? An account belongs to a customer, so we need a way of specifying this in our diagram. To do this, we add the primary key of the customer table into the account table. How do we know it's this way and not the other way around, where we add the account ID to the customer table? It's because a customer can have many accounts, but an account can only have one customer. If we put the account ID in the customer table, there's no way to store a second account the customer might have. So we add the customer ID to the account table. In Lucidchart, which is the tool that I'm using, to do this, we click on the plus next to the field section here. We delete this for the moment. So what do we call this new column? I recommend using the table name in the name of the new column, so you know by looking at it what it refers to. In this example, we've called it customer ID. Your table could look like this. To indicate that it's a foreign key, I put the FK letters inside this column here. This is how it's done in Lucidchart, but other diagramming tools will have similar features. This means we expect the database to implement a foreign key constraint, which means the value in this column must match a value in the customer's ID column. It also means if you try to delete a customer that has an account, you'll get an error. It also means you can only specify existing customer IDs in that column. Both of these rules ensure better quality in your database. In this diagram, how do we relate these two together? We hover our mouse over the primary key field here, Click and drag it to the foreign key field here. This is how it's done in Lucidchart, and your diagramming tool will have a similar feature. How do you do this in SQL? You simply add a new column to this table in your create table statement, or to an existing table using the alter table command. As part of these statements, you can specify the table as a foreign key. For example, your account table may look like this. This code will create a new table and the code at the bottom in bold indicates that we'll add a new foreign key constraint to your database called fk underscore account underscore cust. So that's how you can add a foreign key into your database table. If you've learned something new from this video, make sure to subscribe to my channel. If you want to learn more about database design and development, visit databasestar.com. That's where I share my best database related content. Which step from this tutorial was most helpful for you? Was it the part about adding the ID from one table to the other, or the SQL code example at the end, or something else? Leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.